Greetings and welcome to another impressions video here at Words About Games and today we're going to be looking at Relicta. Relicta is a first person physics based puzzle game where you play as a physicist researcher on a moon base at some point in the future. While testing out your new invention, gloves that allow you to alter the gravity and magnetism of certain objects at will, something starts to go wrong at Chandra Base. With your fellow team members scattered across the terraformed moon, your daughter on approach on a passenger ship, and the base itself plagued by system malfunctions, you'll need to explore the base and figure out what's going on. I'm just going to throw this out there right off the bat. Before I get into the really cool gameplay mechanics that make up the core of the Relictor experience, the story and dialogue of the game isn't all that good. It starts out well enough, beginning in Madeira and showing that something is going to go cataclysmically wrong in a couple of days as the base is falling apart and some kind of alien artifact appears to be involved, one which sucks you inside it before flashing back to a relatively calmer moment in time, before all hell broke loose at Chandra Base. A promising start that never really feels like it goes anywhere. The overarching narrative is fairly uninteresting, steeped in the politics of the 22nd century scientific community, drowning in heavily overused tropes and starring characters the game never really got me interested in, and dilemmas and intrigue I've seen done to death in many other video games, and movies, and books, and TV shows. The voice acting is reasonably solid, and the main character does occasionally throw out a one-liner when you complete a puzzle that made me laugh out loud like when she sings Fly Me to the Moon at the best possible moment, but it's a largely flat story that didn't feel like it ever really got going. Everything that I've just mentioned, the characters, dialogue and story, all live in service of simply shuffling you between the terraformed biomes of Chandra Base, forcing you to run the gauntlet of puzzles that are actually science tests to get from station to station as you unravel the mysteries the main narrative sets up. You can't just turn all the puzzles off, because then that would send an email to the company, which would be bad, even if it means potentially saving the life of one of your fellow researchers. But it's easy to shrug off the plot contrivances in the face of some really engaging puzzle solving, thanks to the cool gloves the protagonist uses to manipulate gravity and magnetism to progress past the many, many force fields blocking your path. You don't get to manipulate gravity and magnets at will, as both the game and its store description imply, just some boxes you find in each of the testing areas, and later other things, like special magnetic plates that are strategically placed to help you solve puzzles with said boxes. Basically, you spend the entirety of your time with Relicta moving boxes around to help you get from one puzzle to the next, which, when broken down like that, sounds pretty dull. But because you're doing it by manipulating the gravity and magnetism of said boxes is actually really cool, thanks to some interesting level design and some really well thought out puzzles that take full advantage of the game's core mechanics. You've essentially only got those two abilities I've already mentioned. You can turn the gravity of boxes on or off, and switch their magnetism between blue and red, which I guess are colour-coded stand-ins for positive or negative, and you combine these two things to move the boxes around in various ways to solve some fairly complex puzzles that require a pretty decent level of observation and experimentation. There are also some teleporters in some puzzles that you can use to summon specific boxes that have symbols that match a symbol shown on the box itself, or if you're feeling particularly pedestrian, you can pick up a box and carry it. Usually your goal is to manoeuvre boxes past force fields that you can walk through but can't carry boxes through, to place them on switches that let you get past the actually impassable force fields that block your way. Or sometimes you use the boxes to let you fly over the top of force fields or to get to higher platforms to proceed to the next area, which is pretty damn cool. And I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Although you only have a couple of different ways to manipulate the key puzzle pieces in Relicta, the boxes, the puzzles are really cool, which makes solving them fun and satisfying. I don't want to spoil too many puzzles in this video, because that would be the worst thing I could do in an impressions video about a puzzle game, but the way Relicta's puzzles build in complexity from one area to the next is delightful. Aside from a quick tutorial to get you accustomed to the game's controls and mechanics and to refresh you on how magnets work should you need it, the game uses the puzzles you encounter to actually teach you a mechanic, which it then builds into subsequent puzzles. It's really good game design. You're not constantly bombarded with tooltips that explain exactly what you need to do to move on from an area that it reduces you to a new idea. You simply have all the puzzle pieces and need to work out how to assemble and manipulate them to get out. 
Then, armed with the practical knowledge of a new way to use your gravity and magnetism manipulation powers, builds that into future puzzles. So the first time Relicta puts you in a situation where you need to set two boxes to the same magnetic polarity, which causes them both to fire off in opposite directions from each other, it feels like you've naturally learned by simply being observant of how the game works and how you can use your abilities. And you remember this for future puzzles, which is knowledge you'll need because you'll be doing it a lot. It sounds simple, and it is, but that's the mark of a really good game, one which teaches you how to play it without you ever realising that it's teaching you. You're just experimenting with the tools and abilities you've been given and picking up how to solve its puzzles organically. The game is telling you things, but in a way that feels like you're figuring it out, rather than simply telling you via a pop-up tooltip or heavy-handed tutorial, which always feels empowering. Relicta is a really great puzzle game that I've enjoyed slowly working my way through. Its story is a bit naff, with its mostly dull dialogue and heavy over-reliance on tired sci-fi tropes, but it doesn't really need to do anything more than shuffle you from one area to the next, because it's also a really satisfying puzzle game. Using your gravity and magnetic manipulation powers to shuffle boxes around to deactivate force fields is incredibly compelling, thanks to the really well-designed puzzle areas you'll be running through. If you're after a good, engaging puzzle game, I can definitely recommend this one. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, consider sticking around here at Words About Games. Our content includes review impressions of games big and small, a weekly podcast dedicated to discussing the happenings in and around the games industry, weekly opinion videos, reactions, debate-driven top 5 and top 10 lists, a regular Hall of Fame series where we discuss our favourite games, and indie game spotlights. We also stream every Friday and Saturday at twitch.tv slash wordsaboutgames. Most importantly, have a brilliant day.